Hello, and welcome to Basic Life Support in Children Ages 1 to 8. There are some slight differences between BLS for adults and children. One is that two rescuer BLS for children requires a compression to breath ratio of 15 to 2 rather than 30 to 2. Another is that you can use one handed chest compressions on small children, and compressions are at least a third of the chest deep. One of the bigger changes is that one rescuer BLS for children calls for performance of CPR for two minutes before calling 911. Next we have the pediatric BLS algorithm. We highly encourage you to study the algorithm in your manual. Next we'll go further into one rescuer BLS in children. The first step is to determine if the victim is responsive by shaking them or shouting at them. Step two is to assess if they are breathing. This can be done by either putting your ear up to the victim's mouth or watching the chest. Step three is to yell for help if he or she is not responding or breathing. If someone responds, you would send him or her to get an AED and it would essentially change to two rescuer basic life support. Step four is checking the child's pulse, but for no more than 10 seconds. You can do this with either the carotid pulse on the side of the neck or the femoral pulse on the inner thigh in the crease between their leg and groin. Step 5. If there's no pulse, or you can't tell, begin CPR with a 30 to 2 compression to breath ratio. If the pulse is less than 60 beats per minute, still initiate CPR. Compression depth should be about a third of the chest, so for most children, this is about 2 inches. Step 6. If after two minutes or five cycles of CPR, no help has arrived, leave the child to call EMS and get an AED. Step seven is to use the AED. We'll go more into depth about AED use in another section. For now, just know to follow the AED steps and continue CPR until EMS arrives or until the child comes around. Next, we'll do two rescuer BLS for children. You'll find that the process is very similar. Step one is to shake and shout at the victim to determine responsiveness, just like step one was for one rescuer. Step two, assess if they are breathing. If the child isn't responding or breathing, send the second person to activate the emergency response system and get an AED. Step four, Check either the carotid or femoral pulse, but make sure not to waste time doing it longer than 10 seconds. Step five is to begin CPR. If there was insufficient or no pulse, if the second rescuer has not returned, do 30 to two ratio CPR. When the second rescuer returns, begin 15 to two CPR with one doing the 15 compressions followed by the other doing the two breaths. Step seven is to use the AED and follow the prompts. Continue this and CPR until EMS arrives or the child's condition normalizes. In child ventilation, you'll want to ensure that the bag mask is the correct size. It should cover the whole mouth and nose, but not the eyes and chin. Open the airway with the chin lift head tilt technique and squeeze the bag to deliver breaths. Feel free to take this time to review this chart for a better idea of proper ventilation. This is all for BLS in children. Next we will cover BLS in infants.